What's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit that like button, and give me all your takes down below in the comment section. And be on the lookout for the Dodgers Nation Wear of the Day. We're giving out over $1,000 worth of cash and prizes this month. All you have to do is spot that Wear of the Day. It'll flash on the screen at some point during this video. And once you spot that Wear of the Day, all you have to do is go to our About page email us that word and you're entered to win we're giving away over one thousand dollars worth of cash and prizes good luck secure that bag dodgers nation and for all latest dodgers news head over to dodgersnation.com NOS showdown, Padres, Dodgers, and Kershaw was dealing early. He had a two-hit shutout up until the sixth inning. Hadn't lost to the Padres since 2013. Then, boom, home run San Diego. Trent Grisham takes Kershaw deep, and that's when things got interesting. He hits his bomb, does a little pimp job pose there, looks over that Padre dugout, drops his back, goes, let's go. And then as he starts his trip around the diamond, he looks over at the Dodgers dugout, does this funny little grin like, hey, I just took your ace deep right now. Then as he's rounding first base, he throws up this three right here, which is the number of times the Padres have made the postseason in his lifetime. Then Kirsch is like, bro, it's not a postseason game, but aren't you the guy who blew the wild card game last year for the Brewers? That's you, right? And then he starts chirping over at the Dodgers dugout. And then he flashes nine with his hands. Mookie and Corey got to be like, imagine only be able to count your home runs with two hands. Can't relate. Right here, it's tough to tell exactly what he's saying. Looks like save it, motherfucker. Save it. It also looks like he could be saying soft, motherfucker. Soft. So it's pretty tough to be 100% on this one, but I think it's Seegs is a bad motherfucker. Seegs. Okay, it probably wasn't that one. It was most likely one of the first two. But Grisham is really starting to piss off this Dodgers dugout. And then members of the Dodgers dugout ask Grisham very politely to stop talking. <laughs> then he goes from being Mr. Tough Guy to professional hopscotch player. Wee! Boop! Right here. And he's bummed. He goes up to Tatis Jr. And he's like, come on, baby. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Uh. Uh. And Dave Roberts was not feeling it. He's like, this is the guy that made us have to play the Nationals last year in the NLDS. Dave Roberts looked heated. He was giving the death stare over that Padres dugout. I thought laser beams were going to come out of Doc's eyes. And after the game, he talked about how he was not happy with his antics. You know, I, I, I don't mind guys uh, admiring a homer. You know, certainly it's a big game, big hit. Um, really like the player. Um, but I just felt that, you know, to to over kind of stay at home play and certainly against a guy like Clayton, who's uh, got the respect of everyone in the big leagues and what he's done in this game. I just took exception to that because I think that there's a certain respect that you give a guy that, you know, you know, if you homer against him. Clayton Kershaw didn't seem bothered at all by Grisham's antics. Here's what he had to say about it after the game. I'm not going to. I'm not going to worry about their team. I just let him do what he wants. And then Grisham talked after the game, and he said that he was basically just happy about a big moment in his young career. I mean, what what was said between us is between us, but I was just turning around, um, celebrating a big moment in the game and a big series against a very a Hall of Fame pitcher. So, I mean, it was, it was emotional. It was fun. Um, it got us going. And it was, it was just an exciting time. Now, if you ask me, I have no issue with what Grisham did. The only thing is you have to pay the consequences. And when he did that, it lit a fire under the Dodgers. And the Dodgers went on to take the next two games and, and any hopes that the Padres had in winning the NL West. So, look, I'm very pro bat flip. I'm very pro pimping home runs. But you have to pay the consequences. And so I don't know why Dodger fans are so upset with Trent Grisham. It's the Padres fans that should be upset with Grisham because it led to them losing the next two games. And now the Dodgers... 
they're going to win their eighth straight NL West title. And Clayton Kershaw, look, man, Clayton Kershaw will be in Cooperstown one day. He's a Hall of Fame pitcher. Hopefully this year he gets his World Series. But let me know down below in the comments, how'd you guys feel about Trent Grisham pimping his home run? To me, I think it's good for the game. I think it's good for the Dodgers that the Padres are good. I think an NL West rival, other than the Giants, only helps the Dodgers. It prevents them from getting complacent. It lit a fire under them. And the Dodgers would go on to win their eighth straight NL West title. They swept the Padres in the NLDS and will go on to win the World Series. And if San Diego versus LA becomes a full-blown rivalry, we can look back at this Grisha moment as one of the first moments that really sparked this thing. There was already tension between these two teams, but this moment took it to a whole nother level right here. But let me know down below in the comments, do you consider the Padres a legitimate rival of the Los Angeles Dodgers? Give me a Y for yes or give me an N for no. And if the answer is no, what would the Padres have to do to become the Dodgers rival? Would they have to win the division? Would they have to beat them handily early on this season? Let me know down below in the comment section. Now, if you ask me, is it a rivalry between the Dodgers and the Padres? Well, I think right now, these two versions of these teams are rivals. Will ever pass the Giants? Absolutely not. That would take decades and decades. There's too much history there. But bottom line, these teams don't like each other. These teams are two of the most talented lineups in all of Major League Baseball. So if you want to call it a rivalry at this point, I'm fine with that. If you had to pay to see one game this year, there's no question it would be Dodgers versus Padres. I respect what they're doing down in San Diego. Have the superstar talent in Fernando Tatis Jr. They're actually trying to win a World Series when most teams out there are either afraid to spend or they're just flat out tanking. So you got to respect them for that. I'm hoping for 19 classic games this season. I'm calling it the New Bloods versus the Blue Bloods. The New Bloods being the San Diego Padres. The Blue Bloods, of course, being the Boys in Blue, the defending World Series champions. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. It's the fastest growing Dodgers YouTube channel in the game, so be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see more Dodgers content, smash that like button. We've still got the last day of the Word of the Day challenge going on, so if you spotted that Word of the Day, hit us up on our About page, email us that word, and you'll be entered to win. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at dmac underscore LA. That's at at DMAC underscore LA. For all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.